And joining us once again is Mike Chiquino, accompanied by his wife, Andresa. I am grateful to see you both again. Thank you so much for coming back with us. Of course. And I know the last time we spoke with you, it was understandable. It was, it was emotional. It was a raw experience. Can I ask, how are you doing now? Um, we're still going through a lot. Um, we feel bad complaining about our issues because there's so many other people that have so much more going on where they don't know where their family members are. They still don't have a, a roof over their head. Thank goodness, you know, Maui is a pretty close community, so people have been offering their homes to us. Um, so we're kind of jumping home to home, but you know, our prayers really go out to the families that are still dealing with not knowing where their loved ones are, plus losing their house, plus losing their job. You know, we can rebuild over time. We have each other. We don't lose each other, which is the most important thing. Yeah. And and I really we're, we're still coming to grips with everything. I coming to grips and I and I appreciate that message of, you know, gratitude and perspective. And I also just want to say, you know, trauma I cannot be compared. And, and I know that you know that. And you both survived something unreal. You lost your home, survived for hours in that ocean. And I know so many of our viewers were touched by you telling your wife, if I start drowning, save yourself. Um, I know that it is a really, really long road, no matter what. And you told our team that you feel authorities are not being transparent, specifically about the number of children who have died. Can you tell me more about that? Yeah, so we're constantly hearing about, you know, children that were hugging their parents, being stuck in the car, children that were off of school, that were, you know, home alone. Um, and then every time locals, um, even the media, try to ask our governor just the you know, estimate of how many children are out there, they're refusing to answer questions like that. So it's just sad that they're, they're trying to hide so much from us, and especially about the children. Um, you know, it's just, it's really, really sad. I, we feel fortunate because we have a four-year-old and she wasn't with us that day. Um, we just, they need to be more transparent and we feel like they're just kind of throwing the blame in other places, dodging questions. When somebody asked our mayor the other day, like, just give us an estimate of how many children he got confrontational. And we don't need somebody that's confrontational with locals that are just trying to get answers. All we want is answers and just to know, you know, things went wrong and they happened and, you know, that you're still helping us and you do care about us. Not if we complain to you, you're going to verbally attack us or or do things. We shouldn't feel that way. We went, we went through a lot, everybody else went through a lot. Yeah. I hear the frustration, and, and Mike, you've also said that you feel the government just doesn't care about the people of Maui. Tell me more about that. We feel like it's kind of protecting their own butts right now. Um, we feel that we're not very political people. You know, we really don't go one way or the other. Um, but Biden has really failed us. He, he, you know, when something like this, one of the worst disasters in U.S. history, happens. He hasn't been out here, and it's been two weeks on Tuesday. What kind of president does that? And then the the FEMA, you know, they're, they're giving people, some people, you know, $700. We didn't get the $700, and we're, we're not complaining about that, but giving people that just $700 to survive when they just lost everything, their clothes, their family members is insulting. Mm. You know, pe people need more help. And... We, you know, we we're seeing all this money being donated to other countries, billions of dollars, and we're not getting that help. He, he's they're more concerned with their political agendas in other locations when they should be taking care of Hawaii, which is we are part of the U.S. We we we, we pay taxes. We it, it's not right to do this to us. It, we, it, they need to care more. You know. I do know, and I and I hear you, and I appreciate your perspective so much. And I hope you know as well, the last time you were on our show, hundreds of thousands of our viewers watched your story, and they are just sending both of you so much love and so much heart. And I know that devastation is turning to frustration and anger, and I hear it, and I'm grateful that you're sharing it with us. Mike and Andresa Chikino, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Oops, we're here. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.